I woke up it was seven. I waited till eleven just to figure out that no one would call. Good morning, I Rebels. I'm Lupita Alvarez. And I'm Juan Garza, and this is your Rebel News. Wow, Pita, the end of the year is almost here. I know, right? I mean, we just had prom, juniors are testing, and progress reports are coming out pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, and with all that, the campus is getting ready for next year as well. Like with the cheer squad, tryouts are being held this week after school in the big gym from 5.30 to 7.30. Competition is tight, so make sure you are ready. Bring a workout pants or shorts, a t-shirt, something to keep you hydrated, and some comfy shoes. Another place you'll need comfy shoes is at Magic Mountain. Grand Night tickets are now on sale in the finance office, where you can also pick up your permission slips. Tickets are $100, and you need to pay by cash or money order only. When we return, I will talk to Miss Pika Lozano about tomorrow night's Rebel Talent Show and find out all the details you need to know. And we have a special in-studio guest to talk about a very important event happening this Friday. You don't want to miss this. Tomorrow night is South High's annual Rebel Talent Show in the Performing Arts Center. Students have been working hard trying to hone their skills for the night's big event. We sat down with Ms. Pika Lozano and spoke to her about this event. Um, we've got a lot of really interesting stuff and, um, and I'm excited about it. Um, particularly for me, one of the ones I'm most improved, well, most interested in seeing the final product is um, a young man who's doing beatboxing. Um, and um, I'm really excited about any of the dance numbers. I'm not a dancer, but in my head I can dance. <laughs> so I'm always excited about whatever the dancers do. So how long have they been working on the talent show? Well, we actually held the first auditions just before spring break. We held a second audition March 31st so since that time actually um, whoever auditioned earlier of course and um, and they're responsible for rehearsing their numbers themselves because it is a talent show uh, the onus is on them to create their act and polish it okay so where can uh, we get our tickets um, you can get tickets from me. I'm in the green room, and pre-sale tickets are only $3. At the door, it's $5. And uh, pop on over and see me. So where does all this money go to? This money is going to the theater department here at SHS. Um, we're, this is one of our fundraisers, and um, we're really hoping to have a good turnout. Um, so come on out and support us. Thank you, Ms. Peeker Lozano, for that. Remember, tickets are $3 right now and $5 at the door. Our special in-studio guest has come to talk to us about Rebels Do Your Right, initiative, and a special event planned for this Friday during lunch. Ms. Grumling is the principal of South High, and she joins us now. Good morning, Ms. Grumling. Good morning. Thank you for having me on the Rebel News. You know, we've been talking about all year long about Rebels Do Your Right, and we've seen the videos just recently, and the posters. Um, what is the purpose of Rebels Do Your Right? Well, that's probably the most important question I've been asked all year. Uh, Rebels Do It Right is something we've been saying around South High for quite a while now. And this year we felt like it was time to define what it really means to do it right. Um, there's an upcoming event this Friday. What can you tell us about it and what do you hope to achieve with it? Well, this Friday um, we're going to talk about heart. We, we've um, had student input and community input on our for respect, I for integrity. We've talked about goals, mm -hmm. and now it's time to talk about what does having heart mean to a rebel? So I'm hoping that the students will come out to the stage on Friday mm -hmm. and tell what it means to them, what heart means to them. That sounds great. Okay, rebels, this is your chance to be heard. Go out this Friday, and your voice, your opinions, no names, just truth. I'd like to thank Ms. Grumling for coming out this today. 
Thank you for having me. And we'll be right back after weather and these messages. Mr. Milo Lavario is now taking applications for co-ed volleyball teams. Games will be held during lunchtime. Games to begin as soon as spots are filled. Speaking of applications, a link crew is looking for a few good links. Not that link. Link leaders. You've seen them around assisting freshmen to get to class. Well, as this year comes to an end, the, the need for new leaders has come up. And now is your chance. Attend an informational meeting tomorrow during lunch and pick up an application. Everyone needs a hand now and then. You know what? What's that, Juan? I think our job is done here. Um, not quite yet. You see, we've heard a lot of stuff about our news, but instead of tuning you out and just going on with what we want to do, we're going to give you a chance to voice your opinion. It'll be up to you to do it, though. So, teachers, please forgive your students as this bit needs a little technical, logical <laughs> cooperation. For the past few weeks, we've been alternating the Pledge of Allegiance, and to say we've had some feedback would be an understatement. So, here's your chance to program the news. You choose which Pledge of Allegiance you'd like to hear at the end of our newscast. Tweet your answer to 93 Rebel News, and from here on out, that's what we'll, we'll play. Tweet A for Old School Pledge, Tweet B for the Vader Imperial Pledge, or Tweet C for the Godfather of Pledge. Remember, standard messaging and data rates do apply. Breaking news. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we have Rebel Lights auditions. When? April 25th to 28th. Where? South High Small Gym. And time from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. Well, that's all for us today. I'm Lupita Alvarez. I'm Juan. And let's get on and pledge. One, two, three, four. Get up. Get on up. Get up. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.